Hey YouTube, it's your boy Redline. Um, Want to bring you guys another video. Wanting to share you guys a tip on how I gather gold and how do I utilize my farm accounts um, to make sure that I continue fighting um, in KVK. Um, for me, I really enjoy open field fighting. Um, it's something that I've always enjoyed since I've, I've been playing this game for about two years now. And the biggest thing for me um, has always been resources to continue fighting. Um, I love to be in the action at all times and having just my main account gather isn't enough. No matter the, the amount of buttons I can afford, um, it just never has been enough. So prior to me sharing this tip, I've only had one farm account um, that was supplying my main account. Um, but now, and ever since the new update where the Alliance node was increased to 100 million gold, I've... Create. I've utilized all the other accounts that I've created, and to to maximize the effectiveness of gold gathering for my account. So right now, with the new update, Alliance nodes are at 100 million um, that you can gather. Before that, it was at 50 million. So with this new update, I was like, you know what? I gotta utilize this more. Uh, and I know so many other people that have shared this with me or continue to do this. And I and I think if you really are a person who continues to fight nonstop, grinds out the game fighting. This is something that you should definitely be doing um, if you have the money to buy the bundles and great, that, that's you, but me, I can't. So I'm gonna share with you guys what I do, which is I have, so right now I have about 19 farm accounts. And how I do that is um, obviously you can only make two farm accounts in your home kingdom now with the new update. Uh, prior to that, you could make when you're in the KVK, you can make two more in the home kingdom. But with a new update that happened some time ago, that's been fixed. But and I confirmed this with um, someone from Lilith that you can create other accounts in other kingdoms, level them up where they they can go migrate and then migrate them into into your home kingdom. So over the span of a few months, I've created about nineteen uh, about seventeen farm accounts because I had two ready here. Uh, and then migrate them into 401. Now with the new update, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm doing, is that I have coordinated on with someone and other people on a farm alliance that specifically will be gathering gold. Um, and in this alliance, I have all majority of my farm accounts in. So here's this alliance node, okay? So right now, it just finished building and I'll say, I, I don't have all my farms in here, but I have about one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine farms in here. On average, I gather, and again, this is all based on tech as well as alliance technology. And I'll and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But on average, um, with these farm accounts, I get between 3.8 to 4.5 million gold per farm. And that usually this is usually drained out in about, I don't know. 24 to 36 hours where then a new gold will be created so if i do all my 19 farms and i i average i'm gonna say about 4 million gold per per farm from this gold pit and again you have to account for other people being in this gold pit also so i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it flat say i get 4 million per i can get about 76 million gold over a span of two days just from farming this gold pit with 19 accounts again it can vary for everybody else and 19 does sound kind of extreme but for me, you know, I figured out ways to manage my time and log in several times a day to do this. But if I can get 76 million gold, and then if I, if I take away taxes, let's say, I don't know, seven, let's say 70 million every couple days. Over time, when KBK hits, that gold goes up, right? That gold bank you got is up there. Um, and right now, in one of my farms, I have about 160 million gold just sitting here. And I'm continuing to gather specifically just for gold. So... You need to really utilize this gold pit update. If you have s multiple farms, you should be definitely going for gold pits. And if you're a leader of the farm alliance, and I'm in R4 here right now currently, um, the biggest struggle you're going to get is alliance credits. Alliance credits is the biggest thing. And what we do is to continue making sure we have gold pits is I utilize my main accounts to come in here, use the alliance credits that you get from Ark of Osiris, one troop flag builds um a one troop slow flag builds to continue building credits because alliance credits are given to you for donations as well as um, alliance construction and then donations from your accounts uh, for alliance credits 
So I do this. I log into my accounts, all of them, several times a day. My main account, much more. But my farm accounts, I do about three, four times a day. And for these 19 accounts, it takes me about 30 minutes to go through all of them, send them out, send out the uh, the gatherers to the uh, Alliance Gold Pit, and then looking for gold nodes around. You always want to find a cluster when you're putting your gold, your... Um, your farms around something like these shrines because obviously like my kingdom you're probably not allowed in zone three but for me i look for areas around these shrines because level five or level six just pop up here and then you can gather around these because they give you at least minimum five four or five or level sixes uh, and then spread them out through the map but then always have one mark going to that gold pit so with this, I'm able to get a couple billion of gold by the time KVK happens, which helped me for training as well as my continuous fights. Something that I I, I, I hope this will help you guys kind of, kind of figure out, oh my god, like the gold pit, like I didn't think about that. Um, really trying to maximize your farms. I know that logging into all these accounts can be super tedious. Um, and you know, 30, 30 minutes out of your day per session, it, it can be sometimes up to a couple hours per day. But there's a couple things you need, right? You need a dedication to do that. You need, if you have a significant other, someone that understands. But come on, guys. Like, I know we work. I know, you know, we do all these things. And I know a lot of people say, oh, I don't have enough resources to fight. Well, do you have farm accounts? Are you doing what you need to do? But uh, I get everyone, everyone's busy in their lives. But for me, I, I have a significant other that, you know, while she's watching her TV show, you know, I'm going to my farm, sending him out. While I'm taking the shit, I'm, I'm going through all of them, hitting them up. But this this could be a really good lifesaver for you when you're when you're fighting in KVK or fighting in general or looking to, you know, rebuild you know your account from a tough fight. Whatever the case may be, gold is gold is money, gold is key. So you know, take this into account. Um, don't mind the chords that are showing on the screen right now. Some of me, the um, other members in this alliance are, are trolling each other all the time. But yeah, I, I hope this helps. Um, utilize these gold pits. Figure out you know, how you can bring in more farm accounts to just strictly get you gold or other resources that you want. Because at the end of the day, you know, resources are going to keep, keep, keep you going. Like for me now, the only thing that's stopping me from fighting is speed ups because I can't heal. But at the end of the day, I'm being an idiot and gemming it. But... But try this out. Let me know. You know, uh, let me know in the comment section too, guys. If there's anything else that I'm missing about um, how to utilize your farm, um, I do want to tell you that um, you, I, my farms are. I'm working on them. Right, this one's at 23, but mine are on average between 16 and 21. Um, in regards to technology, you know, you we're working completely on resource um, technology. Like right now, we're specifically focusing on gold, but obviously going to hit the other ones as, as time progresses. Um, my farm accounts, what I tried to do, uh, let me show you here if I can find my, what I really far, uh, focus on is obviously if I'm a farm account, I'm going to focus on doing the necessary economic technologies, but I always go up to care. I try to get the highest troop load because the higher troop load you get, the more gold you get, can get from the Alliance node. And also on top of that, you want to get, for me, I get all my, um, I try to get all my gatherers to level 37 minimum um like cleo joan you know Const constants all of them to to a good level so i can start utilizing them in the gold pits and gathering gold um it's going to take you guys a lot of time to get your farms to a certain place but you know there's a lot of downtime in between kbks um i mean with this new update made two weeks but over time, you know, your, your farms can grow and then you can continue to put them in gold pits and continue resources because at the end of the day, you're going to need them. I hope that helps. I'm kind of give you insight on what I do. Um, please leave me any suggestions or something I left out in the comment section below. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks a lot. Subscribe, put a like on the video if, if you do like it, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.